Kampong Kamon Province, formerly a district in Kampong Cham Province, also have its own root in ancient architecture. Although neither grandiose in size or complexity, these smaller temples do mark a presence of one thriving kingdom with its own government, people, and history to tell. The Temple of Jung Ong is a part of that one thriving kingdom which still remains physically until these days as a testimony representing a somewhat forgotten time. Located in Jung Ong village, Kandal Churong Commune, Punye Kraik District, Tbong Kumong Province, which is about 3 km away from the Tbong Kumong Provincial Hall. The Temple of Jung Ong was built during the reign of King Jayvaraman IV in the 10th century CE as a dedication to Hinduism. According to Pin Anop, Director of Heritage Officer of Bong Kumon Provincial Department of Culture and Fine Art, the specific information of the latest discovery of this temple is unclear because it has always been located in a populated village from the beginning. This is a different case from another temple that had been discovered by expert and researcher. For example, in the middle of the jungle with a specific date of discovery. Therefore, an assumption was made that the populated Jung Ong village and the Jung Ong temple had coexisted with one another since the old day. Moreover, the design of the temple structure expressed a Kahke style. Originally, the temple used to have three towers. Unfortunately, based on the renown of the stone foundation, only one tower remained today while the other two have been ruined. Moreover, there is evidence of a wall surrounding the side of the temple along with a moat as well. At the front of the temple, there is another ancient pond called Srah Srang. By the northern part of this temple, there is a reservoir of water which most people call this area Hang. Moreover, the condition of this temple is quite good as they were repaired done by the Ministry of Culture in which structural support were installed to reinforce the aging lintel and wall, making sure that the brick would not fall off from the temple. Moreover, cleaning processes were conducted on the intricate part and stone inscription by extracting lime and saw substances so that the structure can last longer. A good number of tourists make their way to visit this temple such as the local people, foreigners, as well as university students from many other provinces. Their purpose of visit can be religious, spiritual, or observatory. Plan for this temple by Tbong Kumon Provincial Department of Culture and Fine Art is to keep the temple clean and neat. Small vegetation is brushed away, yet big old trees are kept to attract more tourists. Clearing the small bushes around the temple would make the temple stand out in the middle of the green scenery even more. Furthermore, a legal heritage boundary is to be set up as a way to conserve the temple territory free from the enrochment of some citizen as the real estate business is growing in Bong Kumon province.